After months at sea, we reached our goal, the rich Malabar coast of India, land of a thousand gods, and a haven for spices, gold, and silver. In the brackish lagoons of Kerala, among temples dedicated to strange serpent gods, we established our trading posts in the cities of Kananor and Cochin. From these cities, my captain and his son, Lorenko, cunningly manipulated the feuding rajas and sultans. They maneuvered through the politics of spice and faith, always with an eye for the most profitable outcome. One Hindu prince, however, defied us. This nameless ruler of Calicut, known only by the title the Zamorin, threatened to break the carefully crafted deals and rivalries from which Portugal profited. By sword and shrewd tongue, giving no credence to differences of religion or race, he gained allies in the Rajas, in the Sultans, and in the rulers as far away as Egypt and Venice. Even our own allies among the Indians fell for his intrigue. The treacherous Golathiri Graja, Prince of Kananor, betrayed us for the Zamorin's gold. Surrounded by enemies, it seemed the hands of fate had turned so quickly against us.
Ao ser estendido, vai salvar. Quais são as vossas ordens? Ir Francisco, it is a pleasure to meet you. Recover my ship stolen from me by the Zemoran, and I will pledge myself to your cause. May our war be profitable. Oh. <laughs> 
Ay, sawa. Paray ko eh. Pataka! Pataka! Sim, sim. As armas. Paray ko eh. Sim, ao seu Avançar! Ay, sawa. Sim, sim. Ay, sawa. Ay, sawa. Ay, sawa. Ay, sawa. Ay, sawa. Sim, as armas.
Farei do way. Sim.
Though the Zamorid limped away from Cannonor bloodied, his resolve was untouched by our cannons. In driving men to war, gold can be more powerful than gold. For centuries, the wealth of the Indies had passed through the Indian Ocean, carried by Arab, Indian, and Somali merchants to the port cities of Arabia, Egypt, and Africa. From there, endless caravans carried wealth across the desert to Alexandria, then to Istanbul, Venice, and Genoa. By rounding Africa, Portuguese traders had upset the traditional balance of this world. With our ports in India, we cut the trade that had enriched the Muslim sultans and the Venetian doge alike. Don Francisco held a knife to the throat of our enemies, and as the lion fed, vultures and jackals appeared. <laughs>